Well, Grant, to come away to Bradford with a 3-1 win, that's about as, as fine as away performances go. Um, I thought we were outstanding first half. I thought we, we got out of the blocks very quickly. Um, had numerous chances to, to get to, the, to take the lead. Um, and then we did. You know, it was a, it's something that we wanted to do with our front three because we knew their full backs were very attacking. Um, we won the first header. Jack's won the second header and Danny's in. Great finish. Um, you know, the second one was a good goal as well. Delighted with Marcus again, another tremendous ball and Jack Murray scoring with his head again. So we're delighted. Um, and to go in, they probably deserve to be 2 0 up at half time. But we know we're, when we're coming to a, a tough place like Bradford, there, um, when they get their tails up and the crowd get behind them, it's a, it's a difficult place to come. Second half, we had to show a different side of our game. Um, defended balls in our box, uh, dealt with most things that they threw, threw at us. The goalkeeper was made two or three tremendous saves, one with his legs, I don't know how he saved it, but mm -hmm. to be honest. Um, and then we knew we always had that threat of uh, Madison and Marriott and on the break and you know what a tremendous pass from Marcus and a tremendous finish from Jack. Yeah, real smash and grab in that second half, but you knew Bradford would, would come out in that in that second half. They made two changes, changed their shape a little bit and peppered your box at times, but you, as a team defended like gladiators. Yeah, we did, but I mean it was a tail it was like it was like that the first half for us really, you know. I remember the chances that Danny Lloyd missed and Jack missed and we had, we had numerous chances in the first half. So um, if, you're, if you're looking at the game, they had, they had the better of it the second half, we had the better of it the first half. Um, unfortunately for us, we were a bit more ruthless uh, taking our chances today. And we speak about him so much in an attacking sense, Marcus Madison, but one thing that, that epitomised the performance today was he was tracking back, almost at left-back at times, stopping crosses and winning the ball for you. It's a, a real team display. Well, that's it. listen, he's got that side of his game, Marcus. He, he's, he's definitely um, improved on that side of the game of his game since since I've been the manager here anyway, um, I've seen um, that he, he's definitely developing that um, and, and it's it's something that he knows himself that it, it, it's something that he needs to work on but we don't want to take away the, the, the ability that he's got going the other way um, and I mean he, he showed that again today um, just with the pace of Madison Marriott and, and Lloyd and you know, we were, we're without going on Edwards and we're without our captain today. We're, you know, two big players for us, plus Junior Marias, another massive player. So to come here, win 3 1 is tremendous. Yeah, and the way when they got back to, to 3 1, again, you, you saw out the game, played it in the corner, really saw out those final 10 minutes again to, to make sure you saw the, saw the game out. Good game management. Well, it actually felt quite comfortable in terms of crosses coming in their box. So I thought the two centre halves dealt with everything. YX, a big, big handful in this league, and, and physically in the air. Um, and I knew that if we were going to concede, it would be something. If we were going to concede, it would be something like that. And, and we know Taylor's got that in, in abundance. You know, he, uh, this is one of the reasons why I brought him back to the club last year. So um, we've seen him doing goal, We've seen him scoring goals for Peterborough like that. So and he scored a few for Bradford this year like that. So um, disappointing concede. The boys, the defenders, and the goalkeeper and Grant, they're a little bit disappointed not to keep a clean sheet. But listen, we come here to get the three points, and we've done that. 21 goals for Jack Marriott now before the turn of the year. 17 in League One is now the challenge. The challenge for you as a club with January coming up to to keep hold of him. Listen, it's, it, he's 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 a breath of fresh air, Jack. And and when I signed him in the summer, I knew that what he was going to bring to us, um, his pace, his cleverness, his, his shooting off both feet, his work rate is something that you don't you know you probably wouldn't. Um, if you're speaking about Jack, you wouldn't say that. You just talk about his goals, but. He's got the lot, the boy, and um, we're delighted to have him here. Hopefully, we have him here for for a long time. Yeah, you'll be saying to the chairman, "I want him until I want him to, to to see us go go through with this throughout the whole season." Of course, I mean, but listen, we we know where we are. We're we're at Peter United, and um, unfortunately, clubs uh, come in. Um, you've seen it over the years, and take our take our better players, and um, and that's what that's what helps the club as well. You know, in terms of financially, so. Listen, if he was to go in January, we'd, we'd give him a pat on the back and give him a hug and wish him the best, but of course we want to keep him here. And a strong, resilient defensive display at times, but you found a, a good front three. You know, Another goal for Danny Lloyd, more assists for, for Madison and more goals for Jack. Yeah, well, listen, they're a front three who work hard. That's what they are, first and foremost, and, and then their ability comes out on top of that. Um, I thought they, they were excellent. They looked a real threat every time we went forward. Um, and you know, it was pleased for pleased to see Danny scoring again. And how satisfying! I know the the job's not done. You still talk to us about the top two, but satisfying to be back in that top six, of course. Yeah, well, we're, we're relegation candidates, weren't we? Five weeks ago, apparently. So um, we're back in the top six. Um, we we had a task. I told you about the task. It was it was to win these five games. We've won three. We've got two to go.